But are you a socialist? Uh, I'm not sure what a socialist is. Well, but I, I believe that. The, but I believe that the government has a responsibility to care for the people. I'm not talking about dole. I'm talking about making people self-reliant, people able to take care of themselves. There are countries which are perfectly able to do that. The United States is an extremely rich country. It's perfectly able to do that. It chooses not to. It chooses to have homeless people. It chooses. It's, we are 19th in the world in infant mortality. 18 other countries save the lives of their babies better than we. How come? They just spend more money on it. They care about their babies more than we care about ours. I think it's a disgrace. And uh, this country has vast wealth. You just look at what something like uh, Star Wars, the money spent on Star Wars, already spent $20 billion on it. If these guys are permitted to go ahead, they will spend a trillion dollars on Star Wars. Think of what that money could be used for to educate, to help, to bring people up to a sense of, of uh, self-confidence, to improve not just the happiness of people in America, but their economic standing, to improve the competitiveness of the United States compared to other countries. We are using money for the wrong stuff. <laughs> that was Carl Sagan speaking with Ted Turner about 30 years ago on CNN. This clip has gone viral again. And it's gone viral because it is the exact thing that everyone knows is true. People ask me on a regular basis, particularly in our nighttime live stream, how do we convince people that we're right? It's because what we're fighting for is just, it is good. It is objectively the right thing. And so as people try to label us and try to, try to dismiss us because of a label, I don't really care what you call me. I know what we're fighting for is there is no excuse for homelessness to exist in this country. It is a policy decision. We are more interested in maintaining a particular style of system, a particular system than we are the fact that there are more vacant homes in this country than there are homeless people. And there is enough wealth generated by every single one of us to make sure that every single person in this country on the face of the planet, quite frankly, can have a place to live. We have created a system that is rooted in greed. And we have been told that greed is a virtue. We have been told that the more selfish that you can be, it is actually more beneficial to society. They have told us that the sky is green and that the grass is blue. They want us to believe that if we reject greed, then we are some type of monsters and that we, they label us as socialists and communists. And again, I don't care what you call me, but you cannot tell me that in a nation where we all collectively, with our labor, with our participation, with our consumption and with our taxes, we create trillions of dollars of wealth every single year. Every single one of us, every single one of you, I don't care what you do for a living or what you don't do for a living. You helped create that wealth. And it is absolutely a moral indictment against this country that a country that creates this much wealth allows homelessness, poverty, living paycheck to paycheck in a system where we create enough wealth for everyone to have a baseline living. They want you to settle for a system of haves and have nots when we clearly have a system where everyone can have enough.